Channel 7 Action News, weeknights at 5.30. Good afternoon, this is Diana Lewis reporting live from the Channel 7 Action Newsroom. A seven-year legal battle has ended and Ford Motor Company has agreed to come up with $23 million to settle a job discrimination suit. And six million cars sounds like a lot, but it's not. Car sales for all the U.S. automakers are still at a slump at mid-month. Italy's earthquake death toll may well top 3,000, and some local people are trying to help their survivors. Those stories and more, plus Rob Kress with the weather, Dave Dial's beginning a special three-part report on Billy Sims, the man behind the myth. I'm Diana Lewis. Join Bill Bonds and me for these stories and much more information coming up on Channel 7's 530 Action News. This is Bill Bonds reporting from Channel 7 Action News. The Ford Motor Company settled a lawsuit today for some $23 million in Ford executives. They still came out ahead. That's one of our stories for you at 5.30 this evening. Some protest professionals and some people from Pole Town take their protest back to City Hall today. And one elderly woman who lives in the area says that she stays where she is or she dies. A priest from the Mount Clemens area lends a helping hand to those earthquake victims in Italy. The death toll there has now reached the 2,000 mark. It is expected to go even higher. Dave Dials takes a penetrating look at what some are calling the myth of Billy Sims and the herd of lions off the field. Rob Crest with the weather. I'm Bill Bonds. Diane Lewis and I with those stories and much more information coming up tonight on Channel 7's 530 Action News. The Ford Motor Company has agreed to a $23 million lawsuit. We'll have details on that for you in just a moment. Mid-month auto sales indicate the car companies are still in a very serious slump. No stories coming up for you in just a moment. Diana? Your paycheck and your budget both took hits last month. That according to the latest cost of living figures. And state workers may be getting some vacation time they had not expected without pay. Bill? David Isles tonight begins a close-up look at Billy Sims. Rob Crest looks at Thanksgiving weather. Diana Lewis, Bill Bonds, those stories, and much more information next on Channel 7's 530 Action News. Day with sports, Rob with the weather, and Detroit's number one news team. Join Bill Bonds and Diana Lewis for Channel 7's 530 Action News, next. Call me Billy, call me Bogey. Come in a little closer, sweetheart, now. Tell you how you can get on a Detroit's best kept secret. Join me Thursday night at 7.30 for a Channel 7 special report, sweetheart. The Girl Who Came Gift Wrapped, Wednesday at 4. Plymouth Adventures, Thursday at 4. A present for the man who has everything. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Richard Long, Karen Valentine. Who are you? Oh. What are you? I'm your birthday present. Somebody gave you a girl. Tom Bosley. I don't believe a word of it. And Farrah Fawcett. Maybe it's time for Ben. He's the man I want to marry. For the man who has everything, the girl who came gift wrapped. Tomorrow at 4 here on 7. It's the King of Comedy, Friday at 4. Tomorrow on the 4 o'clock movie, the boys at the office give their boss a pretty girl for his 40th birthday. See Richard Long as he stars with Karen Valentine and Farrah Fawcett in the hilarious comedy, The Girl Who Came Gift Wrapped. That's tomorrow afternoon, right here on the 4 o'clock movie.